Yeah. I mean, the big thing is I don't think you say stop overthinking or like you'll never overthink again. I think that's, I just don't think that's possible. And also I have an amazing thinking brain. Why would I try to turn that off? It would be so much better if I just thought the things that helped me. So my big thing is if you can worry, you can wonder if you can spin, you can soar. So the big trick there is going, okay, I have all these thoughts that I don't want to have that aren't helping. I'm going to replace them with thoughts that actually move me forward. You know, in a faith sense, I'm going to take these thoughts captive. I'm not going to sweep out this house completely and have it be empty. Like I'm going to fill it deliberately. So that's the main trick as you go. I kind of teach three R's. I say you retire your broken soundtracks. Wow, this thing, like, okay, let's make it hyper specific for entrepreneurs. The contract where you got screwed three years ago is still impacting your next contract. The worry about somebody taking advantage of your intellectual capital because somebody did is still having a voice in the middle of this. And you go, okay, well, let me, you know, like that's a broken soundtrack. I want to retire that. Um, I want to replace it with a new one. I'm going, you know, I'm going to come up with a new one when I get into contract situations and I'm going to repeat that one so often it becomes as automatic as the old one. So really like those are three practical things you can do, retire, replace and repeat. So I love teaching, you know, my stuff, I try to make it hyper practical. Um, I consider my job to be putting handles on ideas. We have enough ideas in the world. We don't have handles to take them with us. And so if I do a good job, I give you a handle and idea and you can take it with you to Tuesday, to Thursday, to your meeting next week, to the pitch, you know, that's my goal.